Hello everyone, it's Sierra Sierra from Attic Gaming and today I'll be guiding you through my Hammer Sword Shield Warrior Shelf Build. The name's a bit of a mouthful and is a work in progress at the moment. I'll try to shorten that down later on. Anyway, the build focuses on being a frontline bruiser in small to large root fights by being able to slug it out while pinning targets down. It has decent survivability and crowd control while also providing some great support to allies in the thick of it. When it's paired with a elementalist or guardian, the strengths of the build are also dramati dramatically increased. With that out of the way, let's move on to the equipment and the stats. For our weapons, we have the sword, shield, and the hammer, running a superior sigil of fire in the sword, a superior sigil of bloodlust in the shield, and a superior sigil of paralyzation for the hammer. We're using soldier stats for the weapons, and as well as our armor as well. And we have the superior rune of the soldier inside the inside the armor, so that we have good survivability along with condition cleanses on our shouts. For our accessories, to give us a bit of a damage boost, we're running berserkers, full berserkers for all of it. As you can see there, that sums up pretty much our stats and armor. The, the stat combination of having partial soldiers and berserkers means that we're not entirely squishy, but we are also being able to put out a decent amount of damage as well. As we've, we've still got the full power bonus from having soldiers, it doesn't it doesn't lose out on the power. It's still it's the same value as having full berserkers. The only thing you lose out on is extra crit and extra crit damage. All right, with that out of the way, we'll move on to the next section of the skills, and then followed by the traits. For our healing skill, we will take Healing Signet. Healing Signet provides us with some good sustain to remain in combat for longer periods of time while we take a beating. We use this over Healing Surge and Mending due, due to the fact that we have a massive amount of Condition Cleanse available in this build so we don't fear poison affecting our Healing Signet. We will take the Shout for Great Justice for our first utility. The Shout provides us with excellent AoE boons for us and our allies as well as tr triggering an AoE condition cleanse from our ruins and also providing some minor healing from our traits. With the slow cooldown we are also able to trigger it very often. Our second utility choice is a Shout Shake It Off. Shake It Off is an AoE condition cleanse that also provides you with a stun break. It synergizes with our soldiers' ruins very well as they also provide an additional cleanse to the shout. We are provided with an automatic shake it off if we have more than two conditions on us by using the trait shrug it off. The shout will also use the stun break on fear before cleansing conditions so we can cleanse up to three conditions with the shout. Like for great justice, shake it off also has a low cooldown allowing us to reuse it often and benefit from vigorous shouts for additional healing. The last utility for us is the Shout Fear Me. Fear Me provides us with a very long duration AoE Fear which can easily turn the tide of battle. It provides us with a very nice ability to manipulate the enemy's position such as throwing someone into a wall or making a thief run out of its shadow refuge exposing it for the kill. Being a Shout also means that it's unblockable so we are able to use it to interrupt abilities such as Shelter and Shield Block. For our elite skill we have the choices between Signet of Rage and War Banner. A safe bet is to take Signet of Rage as it provides us with extra adrenaline on passive and some extra buffs when it's activated in combination with a decent cooldown compared to the duration of said buffs. This also means it will generally always be available for you during combat as well. You can take the War Banner as an alternative for in combat reses but you just have to keep in mind it's a long cooldown which means you have to be sure you can make it count when you use it. We will allocate our traits to 0, 0, 25, 30, 15 in order to get the major and minor traits that will allow us to pull this build off. In defense, we are provided first off with the Adept Minor trait, Thick Skin. Thick Skin increases our toughness by 100 when we are over 90% HP, which is somewhat weak but provides us with a minor bit of absorption to the enemy's initial attack. For the Adept Major trait we will use Dogged March. Dogged March provides us with a 33% duration reduction on chilled, crippled and immobilized and it also grants us regeneration when we receive one of these conditions. This allows us to catch up to targets sooner as these movement impairing conditions wear off quicker while also giving us some extra healing to boot. 
Adrenal Health is a master minor trait that we get in the defense line. It provides us with a small regeneration boost depending on our adrenaline. The healing provided from this minor trait is a nice addition to have. The trait that we will select for the Master Major is Cleansing Iron. The trait is amazing with its ability to cleanse up to 3 conditions when used with a full adrenaline bar when we use a burst skill. And it also has the ability to gain additional adrenaline from incoming attacks. The last trait we gain from the defense tree is Armored Attack. Armored Attack is a simple stat conversion trait giving us 10% of our toughness as power, which is more than worth the small 5 point extra we invest to gain it. The first trait we get in the tactics line is Determined Revival. We don't really have much of a choice with it because it's a minor trait so we just have to use it. It's a, it gives you 400 toughness when you're reviving someone so it's not all that useful. Anyway, let's move on. For the Adept Major in the Tactics line, we choose Lung Capacity. Lung Capacity reduces the cooldowns on our shouts by 20%, which is fantastic for us because our utilities are all shouts. For our Minor Master trait, we have Fast Healer. It's a pretty weak trait as it only increases our revive speed by 10%, but once again, it's a minor trait so we, can't really, we don't really have much choice in the matter. Our next trait, Shrug It Off, provides us with an extra Shake It Off with a 30 second cooldown. It works just like Shake It Off does, except its trigger is automatic instead of manual when you have two or more conditions. For our Grandmaster Minor trait, we have Reviver's Might. Reviver's Might is a relatively weak trait which grants you 3 stacks of might when you revive someone. <laughs> Hence Reviver's Might. <laughs> For our Grandmaster trait, we have Vigorous Shouts. Vigorous Shouts adds an AoE heal onto all of our shouts, including the one from the trait Shrug It Off. This trait synergizes well with our build as it adds additional support to those around us in the front while keeping us up at the same time and also works very nicely with Healing Signet. Alright, with the Tactics line complete, it's now time for the Discipline line. The first trait we receive in this line is Visitile Rage. Versatile Rage grants us 5 strikes of adrenaline every time we weapon swap, which is equal to about half a bar. Due to our constant weapon swapping, this trait is great as it provides us with extra adrenaline to keep using our burst skills. The major trait we take in the Discipline line can either be Warrior's Sprint or Inspiring Shouts. Warrior's Sprint is great for when you do not have a lot of access to Swiftness from your group, and if you don't want to keep spamming your Signet of Rage for a Swiftness boost. It also works as a backup if your swiftness spoons are stolen or removed. Inspiring Shouts works great for when you have plenty of access to swiftness from your allies around you, as it allows you to use your shouts to gain a lot more adrenaline back, which allows you to have more access to your healing from adrenal health and more adrenaline from your burst skills. Now for our final trait, Fast Hands. Fast Hands is one of our most powerful traits that we can get as a warrior. Fast Hands allows us to weapon swap on a 5 second cooldown instead of a 10 second cooldown, which allows us to utilize our weapon skills to the maximum effect. Alright, with the equipment, the skills and traits done, it's time to demonstrate the build in action. Nope, we'll just go right. He's after you. I know. Probably. For great justice, shake it off. Fear me. I summon the power of Earth. No, oh no, they must. Great justice. Shake it off. Shake it off. Adrenaline rising. Summon the power of the storm. For great justice. Shake it off. Get out of there, get out of there. Give me fuck. Feel the fury. 
pull out of the Great ninjas. Justice. Shake it off. See what? I need to shield up. Just run back. I summon the power of Earth for great justice. Escape. I'm good for a while. If you're getting focused, just shake it off. Feel Grint's icy embrace. Uh, oh yeah, too many now. Do you have a? Keep on, keep on. Do it. Pretty far out here. No, we have to get a mistake for that. Bye. I don't want to go. Stay in the field. Adrenaline rising. Oh. Do you see all those kind of glitches? Bro, I do. And stuff. Shake it I like off. a shitload of boxes on Reap the whirlwind. I feel good. Poor bike is going to die. This is a good demonstration of why I bring the fiery great sword <laughs> to Robert's throw. Oh, whoops. I went to the wrong way for a second. Not good. No blow. If we're gonna fight him, we gotta fight him. We got him. Well, one of the guys. There goes, there goes two. Kill. There's a miss, but. I have to heal for a second. For great justice. I summon the power of Earth. Shake it off. Well, we successfully killed three. One of them just jumped off. <laughs> For great justice. Feeling hot. This is the Elliot. I think they can't. I can't. Shake it off. Fear me. Time to do some real damage. I can move mountains! Reap the whirlwind! For great justice! Adrenaline rising! Fire! We win! Just head back to the cliff. Strength failing. Shake it off. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Missile, 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 missile. 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 Feel Grint's icy know. embrace. Fear me. Hit to the cliffs. Feel the fury. Bloody. For great justice. That's it, right? Fire, fire, fire! Shake it off. Oh my god. For great I justice. I that too. Still got rid. I can't move. Not to move in from underworld nights by the server.
For great justice, fear me. Yes, gaining adrenaline. <laughs> hey. Oh, there's another guy. I know this at least. Uh... Strong is fair. Oh, I'm For so great up. justice. The... Shake it off. Yeah, the alley is. Run you bitch. For great Bye. justice. We're busy. I'm about to say something to hit. Shake it off. Fire, fire, fire. They're just gonna keep running back in. Just just back off, back off. Bro. This could hurt. For great justice. I See, they can't, they can't get us, but I just target there. Can't shake it off. Water. I summon the power of the storm. Fear me. Where's that? My God. For great just yes. Just fall back to fall back, fall back, bro. Shake it off. We'll go down the ramp. Then they can't, they can't run. I need a moment. The great the justice. Oh. Lift, go, lift, go, lift, go. I'm gonna try to knock you off with the great. Staying pretty clear of it. <laughs> yeah, they saw what happened to their other <laughs> three teammates. That was fucking fun. I got them with a the fear me and got all fucking three. One of them actually jumped off. Two of them. I got two of them. Come down here. Come down here. Well, engage. If they come down here with their fuck, they know that they can't run far enough away. A lot of servers and they bunched them up into battle groups. For great justice. That way, like, uh, Shake it off. they could make overflows in the world versus world if you had battle fear groups. Fear me. So you take like three servers and you know put them into one battle group pretty much. Yeah, wow. the hell. Time to. I guess it's a that's not an issue now because the pop is still okay. Shake it off. I don't know if you don't know what it's like in tier 8 servers. Or whatever. For yeah. great justice! Civilian. Oh, there you have it, folks. A Hammer Warrior Shelf build that's great at offense and defense and also provides great support to your teammates at the same time. If you like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos on the channel, and I'll see you next time.